What's better than one Death Studios Vampire Mask? Five Death Studios Vampire Masks. Tonight, we're gonna to be taking a look at my entire collection of Death Studios Vampire Masks. All of them with maybe the exception of Nosferatu here. I don't know who sculpted him. Were done by the late, great John Smith. They're all really, really fantastic masks. And I highly, highly recommend all these undead ghouls to you fine folks out there. So let's get in and take a look at these guys. First off is Nosferatu himself, the king of the vampires. Really, really amazing. And then we've got another version of Nosferatu by John Smith. This is a sunburnt zombie variant. Very, very awesome looking. This one's much larger than the previous Nosferatu mask. I don't know, I can't decide which one I like better. They're both really, really cool. And next to him is a very popular mask from one of my all-time favorite movies, Salem's Lot, the 1978 version. There's another version of it that's pretty cool with Rucker Hauer. And I believe they're making a new one that's a theatrical version, but I'm sure it won't be as cool as the original one. This is a really, really great mask. This might be the greatest vampire mask of all time. It's hard to say for sure, but it's definitely in the top five of all time great vampire masks. The next to him is the Albino Vampire. A really, really cool old school Death Studios mask. This originally came out in the 80s and it's been in production for years and years. And here is a newer mask by John Smith. Really, really great looking called the Night Terror. There's several variants of them, but I don't know. I really like the blue one with the crazy looking red and green eyes. So there you have it, folks. There's all of my The Studios vampire masks. I don't know, I can't decide which one I like the best. Maybe Mr. Barlow, but they're all very, very cool. I'd be interested in hearing which one you guys like the best, or if you don't like them, or whatever, but I don't know, I might be prejudiced. I love Nosferatu-style vampire masks, so I can never get enough of them. I have, like, probably ten more in my collection besides these ones, and... I'll probably buy 10 more at some point just because, you know, I'm a fucking weirdo. So, see you guys later.